Hello everyone. I am Dr. Anujna K, PG resident in the Department of Radio Diagnosis, ABBMS and Dr. RML Hospital, New Delhi. Today I am presenting a topic on MDCT imaging of congenital lung anomalies under the guidance of Dr. Anil Taneja, Professor and HOD, Department of Radio Diagnosis, ABBMS and Dr. RML Hospital. Coming to introduction, congenital lung anomalies represent a diverse group of developmental disorders which may produce severe symptoms during infancy with respiratory symptoms or may be detected incidentally. Many theories explaining the etiopathogenesis of, of congenital lung anomalies was proposed, which included defects in the budding, separation and differentiation of primitive foregut structures, airway obstruction and vascular abnormalities leading to secondary pulmonary dysplastic changes. Lung anomalies can be classified into three broad categories, bronchopulmonary or lung bud anomalies, including lung agenesis, hypoplasia complex, congenital pulmonary airway malformation, congenital lobar emphysema, bronchial atresia, and bronchogenic cyst. Vascular anomalies, including absence of main pulmonary artery, anomalous origin of left pulmonary artery or pulmonary sling, anomalous pulmonary venous drainage, pulmonary arteriovenous malformation. Combined lung and vascular anomalies, which include the scimitar syndrome and bronchopulmonary sequestration. The aim of the study was to detect and characterize the congenital lung anomalies with multi-detector computed tomography. Materials and methods. The study was conducted at Department of Video Diagnosis at ABMS and Dr. RML Hospital, New Delhi. Study type, cross-sectional observational study. Study duration was from August 2020 to September 2022. Sample size, 38 cases. Study was done using semen somatom definition flash 128 slice dual source CT scanner. Scan was performed in supine position at the end of full inspiration. Thin axial sections were taken from lung apex to upper abdomen in plain and post IV contrast scans. Study was done in all patients suspected to have congenital lung anomalies on preliminary chest X-ray and the scan were analyzed to identify congenital lung anomalies and characterize them. Result and discussion. A total of 38 patients were included in this study, out of which 8 patients showed pulmonary anomalies, which included congenital pulmonary airway malformation, bronchogenic cysts, congenital lobar emphysema. 26 patients showed vascular anomalies, which included the absence of main pulmonary artery, anomalous pulmonary venous drainage, and pulmonary AV malformation. Four patients showed combined lung and vascular anomalies, which included the scimitar syndrome and bronchopulmonary sequestration. The first image is a bar graph showing the distribution of cases as per age and gender. Five male patients and uh, two female patients were under the age group of 0 to 10 years. Nine male patients and uh, three female patients studied were in the age group of 11 to 20 years. Six male patients and five female patients were in the age group of 21 to 30 years. And five male and three female patients were in the age group of 31 to 40 years. The following is a pie chart showing the distribution of cases according to their incidence in our study. 39% uh, 39 patient, uh, of patients who were studied had absence of main pulmonary artery. 26% patient had to, uh, total anomalous pulmonary venous drainage. 11% patients had bronchogenic cyst. 8% had congenital pulmonary airway malformation. 5% each had scimitar syndrome and bronchopulmonary sequestration and 3% each had congenital lobar emphysema and pulmonary AV malformation. Uh, the following images are contrast enhanced CT images, axial and sagittal, showing heterogeneously enhancing lesion in the posterior basal segment of right lower lobe with multiple variable size cystic spaces within, showing peripheral enhancement and few internal enhancing septae with adjacent consolidation and atelectasis. The lesion is supplied by the normal pulmonary vasculature. No abnormal communication is seen between the cystic spaces and the tracheobronchial tree. A diagnosis of congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation was made. 
the second image is a axial HRCT image showing multicystic lesion in the left lower lobe with multiple variable size thin walled air filled cysts. There is no evidence of communication with the tracheobronchial tree. The mediastinum is shifted towards the right. Uh, diagnosis of congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation or congenital pulmonary airway malformation was made. Uh, this is an axial HRCT image showing a well-defined homogeneous lesion of fluid attenuation in the right paratracheal region. No mass effect is seen on the SVC or trachea. A similar case is seen which shows a homogeneous round lesion of fluid attenuation in the paraiotic region. No mass effect is seen on the arch of iota. These cases were diagnosed as bronchogenic cysts. Axial and coronal contrast and CT images showing well-defined solid mass in posterior basal segment of left lower loop in paravertebral location. Multiple vessels are seen within the mass. Arterial supply of the lesion is derived from the descending thoracic aorta and venous drainage is via the descending left pulmonary vein. This is a case of intralobar sequestration. Coronal contrast and CT images are seen in which the left superior and inferior pulmonary veins are seen to join and drain into the left brachiocephalic vein. The right pulmonary vein is seen draining into the IVC. This is a characteristic finding of scimitar syndrome. The following axial and uh, sagittal contrast and CT images show overriding of the aorta with non-visualization of main pulmonary artery or its branches. This was a case of pretrology of aorta with pulmonary atresia. I would like to conclude that the benefits of fast speed, high resolution and volumetric imaging with, with multiplanar and 3D reconstruction made multidetector CT the technique of choice for non-invasive confirmation and characterization of congenital lung anomalies and also in detec detection of their associated complications. These are my references. Thank you.